She lost consciousness. Consciousness. That means I must have lost. If that's the case, I can't stop you now. Hurry up and run. What are you doing? If you don't hurry, next time I really will take you by force. You did it on purpose, didn't you? You lost on purpose. Huh? You lost on purpose so you can let me go, right? Saying cruel things to me and attacking me without warning? It was an act, wasn't it? So that I wouldn't hesitate to leave you here. What are you talking about? Why would you think that? Don't treat me like an idiot. I already know you're much stronger than I am. We've been together all this time. Why? Melodrama, melodrama. If things stayed the same, you never would have made a move, would you? You always made me decide. You didn't do anything on your own. So you wanted to give me a chance? I was with you all this time, you know? I... I know you well, too. And also, listening to this crazy idiot's orders just makes my skin crawl. Hope. <laughs> Sounds disgusting when you say it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is completely understandable. But are you really okay with this? If Miss Komaru runs away, the safety of the hostage cannot be guaranteed. Oh, more anime. Okay. Byakuya Togami is important to you, is he not? <laughs> then allow me to lend a hand. See, you'll still make it if you go now. Thank God. Shut the hell up, you lanky, wavy haired bastard. Ah, all right. Even though you two share knowledge, you don't share memories, correct? So then, you have no idea who the real enemy is. An honest mistake, I said. Idiot! It's no mistake. What I share with her isn't just knowledge. She and I also share emotions. If we didn't, there's no way we both love Master. <sighs> and my emotions are telling me this. To kill you and let Dekomaru escape. And you're something of a pretty boy yourself. So I can kill you as I like. No remorse. Ah, I see. So you've decided to stop taking advantage of Komaru Naegi. Is that friendship? Huh? To travel the harsher path for the sake of protecting your friend. Such beautiful friendship. I truly think it's a splendid thing. But aren't you a serial killer? You're an aberrant who has no problem taking uh. lives to satiate your own lusts. For someone like that to say things like friendship or friends do you not find it strange? 
or even shameful. <laughs> I can't breathe! Friendship! Friends! <laughs> Obviously, friggin'. How you calling my friends? No! You're my friend! <sighs> what are you doing? Let go! <laughs> no! <laughs> anymore if you keep your promise you can be an official member of future foundation that's why you you just can't i never thought of of you or toko as abnormal not even one bit you're just a little strange that's all but even so you are important to me you and i are friends now no matter what happens you're a precious friend and i won't let you do this you know you're probably wasting your time. I mean, after all, she knows she needs to kill me. Byakuya's life is in danger as long as I am alive. If she breaks the promise we made and lets you escape... <laughs> I'll stay. If that's how it is. If I stay in the city and go with her, then it's fine, right? That's right. Hey! Do you know what the hell you're talking about? You were crying and whining about escaping earlier, remember? Now what? You change your mind? I still want to escape! I'm still scared! Even now, but you feel the same way, don't you? You were scared too, but you tried to help me escape. And hid how afraid you really were inside, didn't you? There's no way I can run now, leaving you behind! As expected, you just don't get it. I betrayed you. I betrayed you, you know? No, no you didn't. And you're suffering from guilt, aren't you? If you're hurting, you can tell me. I'm an unreliable, normal girl who can't do anything. But... I can at least do normal things, right? And it's normal for a friend to help a friend. I'll <laughs> it's such stay. a serious scene and her no tongue is just much like... You say no, <sighs> I will definitely stay with you, alright? I've decided. Man, so annoying. All that lip service talk that I hate, so damn irritating. Anybody can just say something. In that case, I'm a great detective, an astronaut, a reporter, and a Terra super beauty. <sighs> and besides, you have absolutely no idea what I'm really like. What do you mean? There's no way I'd say no. Huh? Rather... Oh. So, um, about what just happened. It, it's all right. I kind of figured out what was happening. Huh? But she's all really? so flushy. Friend? <laughs> the last time I was called that was in a dream I had in grade school. That's pretty depressing. <laughs> well, you're actually one of many friends that I have, so you don't have to take it that seriously. You bring that up now? Let me have this moment a bit longer, jeez! Well, guess it turned out so all right. not funny. <sighs> if Komaru Naegi Trophy earned, way, a woman's battle. Wait, is City chapter four Donald. over already? To prevent that. A wound like this will not diminish my resolve. Though it does hurt. It's time you started talking. How do we release Master Byakuya? 
All you have to do is defeat the final boss. This is not the big emotional scene they think it is. It's ruined because he's right there. Yeah. You saved the princess after defeating the final boss, right? You don't have to kill him, just seriously injure. Injure, maim, leave for dead. You know, don't kill him in the same way Batman doesn't kill villains. You know? Just break every bone in their body and... You know, if nature takes its course, it takes its course. In theory. In theory? Again! <coughs> oh, no. No. No, can't bring myself to do that. No. I was not the only one who came up with the plan to take you to the children's base. I have a partner. But I'm not sure what they are planning, to be honest. Who is that? There's no way I would tell you that. I have already been disqualified from the game. But it'll be all right. No matter what kind of despair awaits you, hope will overcome it. The deeper and darker the despair, the brighter and more <sighs> powerful the hope. Nagato, shut it. up! Yeah, you're crazy, all right. Yeah. You are seriously disgusting. You're like three steps below vomit in a toilet. Anyway, all you need to do is progress forward. I will support you until the very end. So in order to get back Byakuya, we need to stop the children's rioting, right? Then... I'll do it. There's no other choice. Right, Toko? But are you sure you can do this? There's no way I can accept leaving you behind. Thanks to you, I've come this far. And not just that. Maybe I'm not really attached to this town, but I will save my friend. Kamaru. Oh, and one more thing. I have a little hint for you. The building the children are using as a headquarters is called Toa Hills. Mm, anything like Kamarocho Hills? Marching in there with just the two of you would be a bit... suicidal. Monokumas have dug in all around Toa Hills. Even you two would have trouble with that many. Then what do we need to do? Well, we could ask for help from Shirakuma and Haichi. Their help? They want to stop the children as much as we do. They also want to, well, Haichi anyway, also wants to kill the children. Shirakuma said it too. If we work together, everyone can be saved. And everyone's happy, right? What? Where did that come from? Now's not the time for heroics. But I think you and I can do it. It's going to be all right. Ah, such splendid growth. Your world has gradually grown wider, as expected of his little sister. My judgment was indeed correct. Shut up, Nagito. Ah, that reminds me. The Resistance base is in the sewers underground, correct? In that case, there should be an entrance to the subway if you go through the business district. As I recall, there was a blue building. If you move through there, you'll reach the base. You're sending us on a pretty specific path. Is this also part of your scheme? I would prefer that you think of it as support. It is information that will help you. Well, it doesn't matter what you're scheming. Master and Kamaru... I'll protect them both. Even if it takes my life. Do your best. Defeat despair. That's it. 
Just a little longer. Just a little longer. And that light of hope will swallow the despair of this place. <laughs> I can't wait. What the f <laughs> So upset over something like this. You really are a child. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow. Thank you. Huh? Saying it so plainly like that. It's actually kind of refreshing. Yeah, for me too. I've never really thanked anyone before. Okay, that sounds like a problem. I'm saving. I really don't want to go through that whole cutscene again if, uh, I don't know, the PlayStation explodes. I don't know. Um... But if we're seeing Nagisa's robot now, maybe we're close to the end of the chapter? He said there's a subway entrance at the blue building in the business district, right? Yeah, we need to get there for now. What? What do you want? <laughs> Challenge time. I challenge you to a treasure hunt. You look like a dummy, so I'll be nice and give you a hint. The treasure box is drawn on the map. There are three letters written on the treasure boxes. X, T, L. The odd box with the letter that looks like L, but has an X, is the real one. That's it. End of hint. QED. I wish you the best of luck. Sunrise stream. It's 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 not sunrise yet. You're not getting that. You can't seriously be thinking. Weren't we going to the subway station? Well, either way, do whatever you want. Okay, so it looks like an L, but has the letter X. Um, I'm fed up with going to the subway. Didn't we already go there before? We should be going for something more like a woman's ultimate happiness. You could think about your marriage to Biakia later. Oh. 
Punched her to the floor. Damn it. Damn it. I don't have any knockback bullets. Shit. Alright, stop wasting the dance bullets. Okay. have something to do with the paths drawn here? You look really pumped for this. That's an X, but that's not a box. What am I meant to do? Okay, so... Hmm. So we need to... Let's take a look at the other ones. X. So is it just... Ah, fuck. That's rude.
So is it the other box then? Or have we just failed the challenge? Because... But that box had an L on it, but that path is an L. All right, that box had an X. But this path is an L if you go that way and that way, right? So... Where the... F uh, I messed up again! Damn! Just give it up already! No! I refuse to give up. So there has to be another one of those boxes around then. Doesn't look like there's one hiding in there. Oh no, this is plot. <laughs> Burn bullets. Ah! Fire, fire, is that yeah. A new kind of bullet? This looks pretty useful. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. A T, so it's not that one. Oh, shit. Combat Veteran Trophy. Another L. So there has to be another one of those boxes. They fly now, yep. I don't even know if I should. Oh. Okay, hold on. I don't want to go that way yet. Because there's that set of double doors, right? I still feel like we should explore around there. hidden in the map. Oh, look at that. So, wanting to explore the double doors isn't a bad idea. I'm so far away. So far away. Hey, Reiko, welcome in. 
Uh, things are a lot less stressful now. We're not having weird boss fights or being given um, I, um, nightmares by the game, shall we say, over kitty trauma. Okay, we can't blow that up ourselves. That's mean. Calm before the storm. I I think so. The game got very dark and traumatic there for a while. Now it's just back to regular goofiness. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? So I've been a little stressed. The shield ones are everywhere. It'd be a shame to miss defeating some. Hmm, okay. So we gotta turn on all the holograms so that they all come over and then blow them up with electricity. Okay, I think we can do that. there's one as always just there's one that refuses I almost got banned yeah there was like a whole mini game where we had to stop Komaru getting groped and abused by tentacles that, that was a thing one why is there always one that just decides nah that doesn't work for me brother Yeah, so I've been so, so it's uh, I've been a bit tense tonight because I I don't know what the game is is ever gonna throw at me. So you know, I haven't exactly been the most chatty or welcoming. Sorry, I guess the game's fucking me up. <laughs> I don't think I like this game. Honestly, I don't think I like this game. But it's important for lore, so... Like, and we're nearly done. Like, there's seven chapters, and we're five in now. So, like, we're, we're basically done. Um...
Can't like every game. That's one problem of long franchises where you have to play a dozen games to understand what happens. Yeah. But this one seems exceptionally... I don't know, extra? this okay so there is another one of those boxes in there so how do we get around to that oh oh okay i see how we get there okay so we actually have to follow the uh the plot route route I'm gonna turn off that way a sec. Just make sure we got the box over here. I don't... Oh, that one's unopened. Is that the one with a T on it? Right? Because we're not allowed, right? We have to open up one with an X on it. No, that's an L. Pretty sure it's a box with an X on it we have to open. Uh, I messed up again. <laughs> Just give it up already. Okay. That should just stay open now, so that's fine. Huh? Okay. Right, there's no point in opening that box. Hey, Niji! Oh, Blunter, thank you for the, uh, hydrate. Hmm. And a stretch, too. Thank you. Always a risk making a game that deviates so much from the core franchise, especially when it's essential to the lore. Because no matter how you look at it, this isn't the same genre. Oh, no, it's not. Like, in the beginning, I was enjoying this much more than the base games, because I feel like Rampa's core gameplay... I love learning the story, but the trials are abysmal. Just my opinion. But... Like, this was a fun little side idea, but then it just got, like, it just got depressing. So, we go this way. Is this? Yeah. Okay. Please be, please be health. Bullets will work too. I need knockback bullets, though.
I'm mixed. Yeah. There's a lot of small Japanese style bars. Oh, fuck. Do you drink alcohol, Coco? Or are you underage? Jeez, no need to bring up such a touchy subject. sake. There's a lot of things that they get out of this hmm. the type of game they know how to do, trying to make something they have no experience making. How has the game affected your opinion of Toko? I, do you know what? That's a good one. Um, I liked Toko in the original game, so I'm like, I might be an outlier there. I didn't hate her or anything. Um, I actually thought the whole Genocide Jack thing made her like one of the best characters in the original. Could it be? I wonder if those kids were also treated cruelly by their parents. <laughs> Even if they were, would it matter? Even if their parents were murdered, it doesn't give them the right to kill people. Ah, uh, you're right. No matter the reason, this is just... It's unforgivable. It's far too suspicious. Uh, it's not just that. It's peculiar. I don't doubt the ringleaders had terrible childhoods. That they did. Like... Like, the Kotoko stuff, like, thinking on it still makes me feel icky. But I can't think of any of... I can't think of any reason for all these other kids to uh, suddenly be motivated to kill. It's the Monokuma helmets! It's like, they're like the Psychopath helmets! the other children going along with this you're right I have a bad feeling about this it's that arcade machine again Let's get a move on. It better give me. I'll take it. Right, what are we dealing with here? If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. Hmm. How does that work if the cars are. Oh. I think I... Hmm. How would they... Huh.
Oh, those two Monokuma are gonna ruin everything for me. Maybe I should have moved that one first and let them all, I don't know, I don't think it would have mattered. I can handle this riddle myself. Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. Ooh, nice. Okay. <laughs> wow. 50 out of 50 points. Okay, so that brings us back there. Oh boy. So rather than loop around, we can just go back. Right? There's no point in looping. There's no point in loop going the long way around when we can just do this. People say we want new franchises, but if they make new, the, the new franchise and it doesn't sell... Yeah... Always the risk. Destroy them all with one explosion. Yeah, that's I still have no knockback bullets, so... Machine room. Okay. There is no uh, hologram machine, though, for this one. Well, why am I not allowed to have knockback bullets anymore? I don't 
care anymore. Genuinely do not care anymore. that go? That brings us back out here. Okay. So that just makes its own loop-de-loop. -loop. <sighs> Moving on to the next segment. Still here? Oh yeah, no, no, it is in the store, and then down and around. Okay. Ah, signs. Reliable as always. Looks like the subway is that way. No paralyzed bullets left. Crusher. Batteries for Toko, but nothing for Omaru. That's lovely. What the shit?
The game corner again? Hmm. But, but Digivolution is in Cross Wars. The it does both. To be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brat. Oh god, yeah, it's one of these things. Again, huh? so we don't get caught. Ah, we got caught! Fuck! What are you doing? Aren't there are only three isolated incidences of Digivolution happening? The main... Uh, the main characters... The main characters unlock Digivolution later on in the show, and then the whole third arc uses it as a... as its main part. So, Digivolution happens at the end of the first arc of Cross Wars. It's an integral part of helping the Digicrosses get bigger in the second part. And then in the third part, everyone can do it. Except Nene. Because <laughs> she got a big Amazon mommy. But no, it does. It, it unlocks as a proper upgrade um, at the end of the first arc. <sighs> Survive best Digimon show. Well, yes, there is. There is that. Um... You could have Digimon with no evolution at all and make it work. There's a lot of Digimon beyond just making them evolve. Yeah. Roger. Ooh, okay. Be a bit. 